Hello, I'm good. Uh, hello, good afternoon. How are you keeping? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, how's weather there? It's too hot. Sunny weather. Okay, here we are. Here, weather is becoming cool. Colder, and we today is the temperature around 12. We had a rain and it's dropped down from 25 to 12. So it's a big change. Okay. Okay, breast fishes, hope that will be nice. I think so. We heard, you know, there will be a rain soon. Huh? So, a couple of places mm -hmm. there. Rain. So, hope so. your weather will be fine too. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so we'll start in just two minutes. So, if you log in on Moodle, do you have access on Moodle? Yes. Okay, I'll quickly show you and we'll start. We look at Moodle. And from Moodle, we can access the required resources and we'll start our lesson. Okay, so today, of course, first, you know, we'll do the assignment discussion and then, of course, one-to-one, -one, which whatever question you have, and we'll go through accordingly, okay? So, of course, we are doing the research, which is unit, which unit number is it? Unit 9. It's 19. Unit 19. So we'll go through the unit 19 first. Yeah. Okay. Let me. So unit, unit 19 research. Okay, have you managed to log in? Okay, welcome. And thanks for joining. Mm, so, as you know me, my name is Anjum. Please, if those are listening, recording, you can drop me email anjum at ukvc.co.uk. So, during our last few lessons, we had, we learned about oh, what is meant by research. We discuss about such project we discuss aims and objective we had a discussion about literature review we discuss about proposal how we can set up and we discuss about data research methodology research onion model we discuss about uh, data con conclusion data collection data analysis methods we mentioned spss and now and conclusion recommendation that's all we had and today lesson is about the assignment discussion that's key you know so let's you know we look we had the unit specification what we learned first i'll take you back to can you see the slides yes the document which i'm just sharing with yeah. you okay brilliant so in this document we had a discussion about examine appropriate research methodologies identify those appropriate the research pro process which we had a discussion research proposal we have to so learning outcome one and two is linked to you make your research proposal first yeah mm -hmm. then your learning outcome three and four you have to choose the topic and you have to do the research and draw the conclusion recommendation of that topic that's you know the two things you have to do so okay that's we learn about the research processes in our as an indicative content during our delivery. Then we've been given our topic is for set 2023, which is given the last document on this. Yes, so please you can, if you open that, and within that document, we've been given every year. Uh, a Dexel give us the theme and the topic which we need to follow accordingly, okay? So I send you few sample proposal. I send you two samples project. Yeah, uh, that was the previous year's topic. This year topic is slightly different, uh, but of course the layout and the structure, the, the contents 
lot of content is quite similar. Okay, so this year topic is corporate social responsibility. So what do we know first corporate social responsibility? Do we know what it meant by? Okay, CSR Kaplan. Okay, we had a discussion uh, in the past. We can use the Kaplan resources. Okay. So first, what is the corporate social responsibility organization must account for their action. Believe me that they have the difference between how the world now and what is the CSR corporate social responsibility is continuous commitment of the businesses to behave ethically and contribute the economics development while improving the quality life of the workforce, their family, as well as the local community and society at large. That's all. Anything they're doing towards the welfare of the society, like building school, giving uh, money to the charities, helping needy people, the food bank, uh, making roads, planting trees, using local materials, these all leads to the corporate social responsibility. Meeting the different stakeholders requirement, that's all come under CSR. So what is the CSR when we're looking in sustainability, corporate financial responsibility, organization on the profit, organization look the environment, organization look the people, it's public, it's implies it's the larger public. So we've been given a lot of example, Prime Marx, how Prime Marx can promote, sorry, Marx and Spencer can promote the sustainability and what competitive advantage can be if they, they use the product throughout these stages, the life cycle production selling. M is encouraged ethically and environmentally responsible behaviors. People, everyone who is work for the company is entitled to mix benefit. And this approach, they encourage the company, supplier, franchise, and another business partner and place in the company, recognize the obligation, the community in our trade to successful retailing require the economically healthy and sustainable community. So that's it. And why is CSR is important? Traditional viewpoint have been that the corporate social responsibility offer no benefit to the business that's the old, you know, tradition. But the relationship with the public, um, uh, working the best interests of the public and helping local community is a good image of the company and ultimately increase the productivity. Monitoring the change in the social expectations. Look around the, that's, you know, we have all about the social responsibility. We've been given the example of BA, which is a British nautical and uh, airspace and engineering and that's you know which we can use examples so what i'm going to do and there is a balance score card why uh, when we making any effort towards and creating the competitive advantage we can use the norton kaplan model balance not only looking the financial perspective customer perspective internal perspective innovation perspective in that's, you know, profit, planet, and people. That's is the triple bottom line and all about. If you want further, you can look around the different CSR models, which we can look around for the discussion about CSR, corporate social responsibility, yeah? and the corporate governance, how we can manage well. Yeah? And that's, you know, you can use some uh, squirrel model, CSR. We have other, uh, these are all the model melden fredman model of csr and we can uh, do and look around our review the csr model of any companies of your chosen and we can use the models from these huh? uh, let's you know how we can structure so first thing we have to this this uh, can you see this document yes yeah I can see. okay Choose the topic and objective of the research. Okay, so let's you know. I'll show you how we can. So first thing, if you look the second point, you have the CSR. The following topic we can discuss. 
so we can look around extend the corporate social responsibility program in line with the uno which is called sustainable development goal of uno this we can discuss corporate social responsibility a case study of energy sector if you're picking the any company in the energy sector that can be how corporate responsibility is used to gain competitive advantage so i think so it's better to be you can use the topic three yes corporate mm -hmm. social responsibility how it gain the competitive advantage for the companies okay if you want to choose this topic, you can i'll show you all stakeholders perception csr initiative may belong to any of the following categories investors suppliers and why they looking csr and what are the benefit to them are uh, as a wider stakeholder impact of the csr on the following dimension market place workforce and the community at large yes so maybe we can say the impact of the csr program on any of the following dimension market place workflows community and environment and thus you know with with respect to the company like you can choose the company of your choice like uh, which i mentioned Mark and spencer if you want yes that can be. okay so these topic you can pick one of them okay okay so okay. we can look around these topic uh if, this is employer engagement, uh, sharing good practices. Yes, you've been given the lot of resources here. You can, yes, use them. Okay, so let's, you know, we'll, you have two parts of it. I send you sample. Have you received the samples? I'll show you. Yes. Okay, so in the sample, I'll show First, you know, share and that sample I'll share with you the proposal one. If you open the proposal one, so first is the proposal, yes, then is the project. Okay, so how we can make the proposal first, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry, just one second. So you have give me one minute, I'll share with you. Just one second. So I send you before I send you the proposal first. Yes. You have proposal now? Yes. Okay. Open the proposal and I can give you and we can set the topic and you, you can write. So let's I'll go through with you. That's the sample we set. Yes. Okay. Sorry, it's your unit is nineteen. Okay. So when we writing the proposal, so what can what sort of heading can be in your proposal? Okay. So first thing you write the introduction. That's the last year was about COVID-19. Yours is about CSR. 
Okay. So section one is the little introduction about CSR. Why importance of CSR has significant increase. We can say maybe we are living in the era of globalization. World became a global village. The corporate social responsibility has significant increase. Yes, due to the lot of issues like the yes welfare, health issues, and all. And it's the responsibility of the company. What did the company mean is an artificial person, okay? The aim of this research is to investigate the benefit and the challenges for the company to implement CSR, yes? In there, that can okay. be, and that's, you know, which we can. Objective, we can say two, uh, and the research question we can set up, you know, by looking this, but I'll set up for you in a minute, yes? and then scope of research. Then we can find the literatures all about COVID-19, competitive advantage, Kaplan. I'll put all the headings for you, okay? Then, okay. If, then we can move to the third. We can say research methodologies. You will use primary, secondary research onion model, yes? Okay, data collection, how you will use the primary, secondary validity of research, sampling sample size and data analysis yes thus you know you can make the plan you will do when you will do which chapters yes i will show you in a minute and that's the way that's your proposal okay anything you want so that that can be or if you want to make the question declaration or anything that can be your um, okay so, so how we can set up let's you know we'll start ourselves okay i'll show you can you see now? Mm, no. Can you see the this world document? Yes. Okay. So for this your assignment, click insert first. You have a cover page, okay? So you can say yes. What are you doing? So which unit? Unit nineteen, yes. Yes. Research project, yes. So we are preparing research proposal. Submit it by student number eight. Uh, business management. University Manchester UK, yes, that can be. Mm -hmm. If you're doing any other campus, but you're doing online, so it could be. Okay, then go down, leave this page, is your content page, yes, which page? Content page, or oh, you can do it, yeah. So so I'll go back to the document, which we discussed just now. Uh, I'll share with you. I hope you can see it. Yeah? Can you see now? Yes. Okay. I'll go back to the point two, to the topic, yes? You can choose how corporate social responsibility use the competitive advantage yes okay okay i'll take you back to the title of our research marks and sensor okay can you see yes That's we can and put it everything in yes and line it as your title. So we can write little introductions, yes. How we can write. I'll take you back to our Google 
scholar. Introduction about CSR. Sorry. Ah uh, yes, introduction about CSR. Uh, okay, let's let's I'll, I'll show you. Don't worry, I'm showing you all. Google Scholar, yes. Okay. You use Google Scholar? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, Social responsibility. Competitive advantage. So if I look here, can you see here corporate social responsibility? Corporate, yes. corporate social responsibility has attracted the wider research interest over the recent decade and the study to examine the impact of corporate social responsibility on the firm and the competitive advantage. The finding demand contradictory, whatever you want to hear, but we can say, okay, so we can look around this research paper here. Uh, or uh, if not this, you can look around corporate social responsibility and advantage for competitive. Can you see there? Yes. Okay, competitive advantage of enterprise in the condition of the market economy not generate merely ensure the high quality of the product and service, but therefore the strategy to involve uh, it's meet it's a legal or uh, yes so such as involve the uh, corporate social responsibility okay so we can write if not this so you can do a bit you know research i'll go through so that give you good wording if you look like this yes okay. so this one is good. CSR, corporate social responsibility strategy and corporate advantage are the important issues in the contemporary and discussion on the uh, corporation in so society. Yeah? When taking in account the social environmental impact, empirically we can say the social responsibility strategy associated with the competitive advantage such attracting value implies as well as. So what I can do, I can copy the abstract here. Yeah? Okay, I can go back to my assignment. Uh, this is a proposal, yeah. So I can say here, I put it this, yes. Yeah? I can say competitive advantage and corporate social responsibility, which is I can say use it bracket yes to show my abbreviation yes strategy competitive advantage and corporate social responsibility strategy. is uh, Im important or uh, is a key issue within operations yes okay so csr strategies are with 
competitive advantage towards social environmental mix yes Investigated the role of CSR to increase advantage. So that's, you know, that's you can link. If you want a little more, I can leave it as it is. Huh? You can read, you can pick it. You, you, okay. got, you got me? Yeah. So you can give as much background as those companies, any other companies, yeah? So that's the way okay. you, you can write, you can be paraphrase it, yes? The theme we are getting. Okay. Aim of this research. What was the aim of this research? Whatever your title of the research. So maybe you want to look around, copy that. Maybe we can say examination. How corporate social responsibility is used to gain the competitive edge? Yes. Within organizations. Yeah. With reference to. Yes, Marx and Spencer. That can be your objective. And yes, what is your objective? Well, just saying about CSR and competitive advantage relationship. Yes. To draw, to conduct the literature. on ESR page and competitive advantage for mass and sensor. Well, with the search methodology, you 
can set the sentence huh? Oh. the conclusion Done. Research. Okay. Any question? No. Okay. Then can we, if you want to discuss about research scope, yes. If you want research question. I'll give you. Uh, of course, you can do at the end if you want to. It's not compulsory, but you can write if you want to. Okay. So, okay. what is the relation between yes, uh, Okay. Yes. How company can competitive advantage will be CSR. Yes. Just you know, it's fine, huh? Okay. So these can be your few. Okay. So what you can do is you know heading. You can select it. Let's say I want heading to this. I want heading one here because that's my major heading. Okay, so this can be yours. This can be your chapter. Chapter one, introduction. Okay. Any okay. question? Any question there? No. So that can you can make such question you have yeah you can change the question I'll share with you if you want if you write the scope yes how you want to write that is fine chapter two okay what is chapter two literature review so you can write about what is meant by CSR. Give advantage, yes. Marks and Spencer, yes. Background, if you want, yes. Mm, you can write oral model of CSR. You can write it. Uh, 
Mark and Spencer is organization. Yes, Mark and Spencer. You relating. You what they doing? You okay. can their reports. Yes, on CSR. Every company publish the report on CSR. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you can write the here balance scorecard. Balance score or model. Yes. Okay. Then we move to your next. Let's see. What is chapter three? Research methodology. Okay. Okay, so here in this one, you can discuss about Okay, so what you can do here, you can discuss about research only a model, yes. Okay, write the primary and and research, yes. Qualitative and quantitative research, yes. You can write the data collection methods, yes. Uh, it can be such as questionnaire, yes. Sample size. And data analysis. Consideration, and then you can say time arising. Okay, I'll give you all the. Then you can next chapter is chapter four, data analysis. Recommendation. Okay. So in this chapter, we can say mean, mode, you will be, because this is a proposal, actually you're not doing it, you're proposing how you will do it, yes? Okay? Okay. And then the last bit, you can look around other proposal, which I already sent you, you can do the references, yes? And you can add it appendix, yes? Such as um, scan chart if you want, yes. Like, you know, when you start your dissertation, when you finish it. Yeah? Maybe you can say it's five weeks, six weeks, yes. Yeah? For your research, this is the, this is your proposal, okay? So if you write these, all the points, yes. Your research proposal, ready, yes. Yeah? Then within that we we can do this, we can do the sampling, we can add the graph. This will become your dissertation. Yes. Okay, five thousand words approximate we need to write. So if I'll click insert, sorry, if I'll yes. can you see all? Yes. Okay, if I'll click the references at the top and click here, insert the table of contents here. Yeah? Here, table of contents. It's create me list of tables. Can you see here? Yeah. Any heading I want to include. So that's the way. So what you can do, you can write. I wrote few things for you. Yes. Okay. okay. You can write little literature on these. Yes. You can say research only in model. What is about? You can say in this research I will use primary data. Through the Google form, I'll create and I'll send to the people. They will answer about the importance of CSR and competitive advantage for our organization. Yes. So yes and no. There I will I can yes draw my date conclusion based on secondary research is is mean the literature review your secondary research yes 
quantitative is mean the opinion about the people and qualitative mean numbers here yeah? you can say you will find this qualitative and quantitative reasons yeah and you can say data collection data will be collected through the questionnaire by using the google form yes and the form you will send to send to through social media to the people yes and the form will be created okay i i demonstrated for you in the previous lesson when i showed you methodology google form how you can create it yes you remember yes, yes. Okay, then we say sample sampling. You can say there are two sampling approaches, probability sampling, non-probability sampling. Maybe you can say you will use the convenience sampling. Yes, you will send the emails to those. Those are convenience. You know them. You can approach. And the sample size, maybe you can say you will use 15 people, 20 people or whatever. Yes. Thus, you know, you can. And the data analysis, you you can say you will use the mean, mode, median, correlation, yeah? Statistic tool you will use to data analyze, yeah? Here you're proposing, yes. And ethical consideration, you will say, you're not asking the question to disable people for the kids or their data not being shared to third party without their consent, yeah? And the time horizon, time is a limit for six weeks. And within that, you will achieve your research objective, yes? And you will complete your research, yes? And then you can say here, the, the, the data analysis will be used, the mean, median, or mode, and then a recommendation will be drawn. I will send you a proposal in your further email box, yes? Okay. And what topic was that because of the proposal topic different your proposal topic is a csr right? okay. okay and we we are doing research and math and cancer right? okay. okay so if you google it marks and spencer they make clothes yes hope they have uh they are in pakistan as well in Islamabad and other parts few few store they have next and marks and spencer and okay. this company. Mm. Okay, guys, today we discuss about how we can prepare the proposal and I'll send you that, that, that template, you know, we'll share it and please make sure you can choose any topic from the list of the topics those are given for this year. And that helps you to prepare your uh, proposal first. And then I already gave you the sample one, sample two for your uh, final project on the same topic you can include more data it becomes your uh it's a project yes which we're doing the research and thanks for attending today lesson and today lesson discuss today lesson we discuss sorry you want, want to ask yeah today we only discuss lo1 and lo2 this is the research proposal is based on lo1 lo2 yes okay and you making the proposal this address lo1 lo2 when you're doing further, yes, yeah, your okay. it's the same, you know, but you're adding the graphs and things here yeah, and drawing the conclusion and recommendation that will become your whole project, which cover LO, LO4 and LO5, yes? Yeah? Okay. Oh, sorry, LO4 and uh, 3 and 4. Huh? Okay. So that's, you know, which I'm going to send you. This one I'm going to show you. Okay, guys, those are listening this recording, please. This will be available on our uh, Moodle page for the sake of, and please make sure you can, whichever topic you will choose against corporate social responsibility, the list of the topic you've been given. So please, you can choose it, and I'll speak to you during our next lesson in between. You know, please first complete your research proposal within two weeks' time, and we have the group. WhatsApp group, please. If you have any question, you can drop email or chat in the group. And then the second part, you know, after the proposal, uh, we'll sign. And then, of course, you can enhance your research. Actually, you conduct, you know, questionnaire and you can include the result of that and complete your project. And that will meet, you know, well, we'll meet, you know, the learning outcome three and four. And that's the way we can complete this assignment, Unit 19 which is more credit and more worth of this assignment. 
in terms of your final grading. So best wishes if you have any question, feel free. And I refer you the Google Scholar, uh, Kaplan books and a couple of books on CSR, those are and which you learn about CSR and a couple of these concepts in other management units as well. So please, you know, and if you uh, find the CSR reports on Marks and Spencer, any company of your choice, if you want to link to contextualize to your research. If you don't want to do the primary research, you just rely on the secondary data and you can say my research objective can be made through the secondary. That's why I'm not doing primary. OK, so that's the way you can complete. And thanks for attending. And I hope I will speak to you during our next delivery of the unit. Thank you. Bye-bye.